Bam Bam Bigelow. That was another one. Yeah. The, the Bam Bam Bigelow. You're not the only one that's had problems with him. Oh, no? Buffo was also, really? Uh, I didn't know had, about the had, others. Had problems with, uh, with uh, Bigelow as well. Really? Bam Bam Bigelow was a, he's a loud mouth. He's, you know, he's, he's, he takes he a lot. Of, he takes a lot. Yeah, yeah, and he takes a lot of plates. He likes to take advantage of the guys that don't defend themselves. Yes. But he respects the guys that are tough. Yeah. Or and, the stars, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, or the stars. The star. yeah. So, so he's in the dressing room and, he, and, and Dink, the clown, the midget. Yes. Which was with Doink and Dink. Who is and, from Montreal. From Montreal. And he's a friend of mine. I yes. wrestled with him for, I've been wrestling. He's still yeah. in my shows today. Dink oh, really? is still in my shows today. He's a manager and it's so funny. He, enter he entertains the kids. But anyway, long story short is we have a relationship for about uh, 40 years in the business. Now it's 37 for me, so so 37 years we've been together, and we've been up and down the roads together on the road. So anyway, he's in the dressing room, and they start picking on him. Like, you know, they start picking on him and giving him, and so 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 Tiger, Tiger Jackson, which is Dink, comes to see me, Tiger, and he says, Jacques, he says, I think I'm going to go home. He says, I think I'm going to quit. I said, well, Why? He says, well, he said, because they just put some juice all over my, 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 uh, my shoes. They wet my shoes when I was, you know, in the ring. And they, and, and, and they, they keep playing with my, my stuff, my clothes, and, they, and I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. And they, they keep uh, bugging me, and they're laughing at me. And uh, I said, well, who's doing that? He says, well, he says, mostly Bam Bam Bigelow, it's him. So now I'm sitting here saying to myself, this is none of my business. But I like Tiger. Right. And I don't think it's fair because I've been there. I've been through intimidation. Yeah. You know, so once you've been there, you don't like it to happen around you. It kind of comes and gets you in the deep inside right. of you because you feel sorry, especially for a midget. Yeah. So I go up the one night, I come in the next night, I said, Tiger, let me work it out for you. <laughs> so anyway, I got to this town with Carl and I said, uh, I came into the dressing room. I said, uh, in front of all the boys, I said, hey, by the way, Bam Bam, I said, uh, the next time you want to play a joke, I said, I want you to play it on me. I said, leave Tiger alone. He doesn't need that. Play it on me. So a lot of the boys, ooh, like yeah. another, trying to put some, some stirrups. Some, yeah. And he looked at me like this and he laughed, you know, and, and he was missing a teeth. And he's laughing. And I looked at him. I said, no, I'm serious, Bam Bam. I said, next time you feel like playing a joke, play it on me. Right. Quit picking on him. No more trouble. Right. And he didn't beat me up either. So that was fun. So it was like, Tiger today, for him, I'm a god. Right. From that day on, he enjoyed his job. Wow. But it's something we don't need in our business. No. You know? Very good. I have to uh, commend you on, on well, sticking up for him because a lot of people wouldn't have done that. Well, I think you would have. Some I of us would. I think you would have. Anybody that has a little bit of decency would have. It's not fun on the road. It's hard. It's tough. We don't need to have that extra pain and, and being afraid. Thank you.